hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do and also check out my other videos too so today i'm going to create a smoky eye makeup look because i know i feel uh, i feel a few of you have asked and requested me to create the smoky eye look so here we are today we're going to create that look so keep on watching so I've moisturized my face and did my eyebrows because it's a bit boring you know but anyway so today I'm going to change my makeup routine a little bit just one step um, I'm going to do my face makeup first but just just foundation um, and then I'm going to do my eye makeup after let's cover some spots I'm using this forgot I'm using this Maybelline New York Conceal and Correct. So in, I'm using this green now. And cover some spots. I really just popped my spots this morning. Ow, mm, this one hurts. I'm going to blend that out my tire. And then next I'm going to use my MAC Cosmetic conceal palette ah. uh, <clears throat> I'll be using that shade <laughs> I'm going to cover my eye bags a little bit I'm using this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer put a little bit under my eye my eye bag is so bad I'm going to put it on my eyelid a little bit as well just for my foundation too. So I'm going to apply my foundation and then start my eye makeup. So I'm using this MAC Face and Body <clears throat> Foundation. I'm quite proud of myself for using foundation first because I would usually not wear foundation first if I'm going to do my eye makeup or if I'm going to do an eye makeup. I'm just going to use a sponge because I feel like the brush is, you know, stroking all my foundation off my face. I think sponge works better for everything. I mean, brushes too, but I prefer sponge, I think. Because it just blends things out really nicely. So I'm going to start off with a base. I'm using this Stage Blind um, Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to use this shade here, this colour, I'm going to apply that all over my lid, I'm just going to do one eye first and then come back with both, eye, both eyes, oh my days can't even speak English anymore, I've been, in, I've been in England for 13 years now and my English is so bad. Now I'm going to deepen up the crease a little bit, so I'm going to use this dark brown. Not too much, just slightly blend it around where I want my black to go. You don't want to go out too far. Just want just above your lash line and under your eye crease and just above your inner corner because if you go out there it's not going to look nice anymore just keep blending it's all about blending because blending is like the most important thing to do on your eye for your eye makeup now we're moving on to the black part um i'm using this maybelline new york gel liner forever using Mibble in New York I feel like I'm promoting them but I'm not anyway so my sister bought me these when I went shopping it was a payday last week I think it was last week yeah she kindly bought me them so she's trying to support me for my makeup you know you can actually use your um, if you have like a pencil or a coal liner you can use them uh, as um, eyeshadow 
base. You don't have to use what I use. But if you don't have gel liner, you can use eyeliner. So we're going to blend that out. Just keep blending until you get that look you wanted. Until you're happy. Gotta concentrate. Oh, my eyes are watering. Just like you're putting eyeliner on, but like a big block of eyeliner. But that needs blending. So just keep blending until you're happy. Blending is so important. Doesn't matter how long it takes you, just keep on blending and blending if you want it to look good. So like what I'm doing, I'm just brushing brushing it, the product upwards. Like try to get it up on your crease, like just under your crease. And don't worry about your bottom eye because we can just clean that up after. So now I'm going to um, add top it, uh, top the black eyeshadow up on the top of the black. Um, I don't, I don't know either to use this black or my Morphe eyeshadow palette in this color black. I don't know if they look the same. It's all about the pigmentation, you know. So that's the Morphe, and now I'm going to with the stage one. It's all about the pigment. I don't feel. I don't feel like it's not the same. Oh. Okay. They're both the same. I give up. Never mind. So I've decided I'm going to use the Morphe one. I just feel like it's, you know, I don't know. I'm going to top that up. It's just darken it a little bit more because the gel liner is already helping you with the base because if you were only using the eyeshadow you won't be able to see the black as much but you blend what you mean that's so now blending everything in you know so you don't have any harsh lines so guys, make sure when you finish with your eye makeup or, you know, if you have any makeup on your hands or your fingers, make sure to get rid of it. Otherwise, this will happen to you. So we're going to do the same on the bottom eyes. So use that as a base. So just create that as an eyeliner first. And then going to blend that out on the top of the brown oh my days it looks so scary I was like, oh. <gasps> wait for the lashes so i'm going to use mascara i'm using this uh pramark mascara i just purchased the other day let's see the hype about this foundation eyelash uh, oh my days mascara so now I'm going to pop some lashes on. I think that's dry. Oh. Look, I'm using tweezers. <laughs> okay. Can't see myself. So guys, now that one eye is completed, I am going to do my other eye and then come back to you to finish the whole look after okay eye makeup completed and now I'm going to complete the look <clears throat> I'm using this MAC press powder to powder my face because I'm a bit oily at the moment I think and then I'm going to put some bronzer on so for the bronzer I am using what's my brush I keep using things I am using this um, bronzer shimmer from W7 this is like the cheapest brand I ever bought I mean pr pr I think Primark nah Primark Primark is like so expensive now but this is like the cheapest brand but it's really good. It's not 
bad or anything. I mean, it's good to be cheap sometimes, especially um, around this time, COVID time. No job, no money. I don't go back work until next month, like May the 23rd. So I'm not going to do the full contouring today because I don't want all the contouring and everything else to you know overtake the eye makeup we're just gonna put bronzer on contour my nose a bit after and then we'll put some highlights and lipstick and we'll be done and then we're going to put some highlights on using this top shop top shop highlighter put on your nose just give that definition to your nose i don't think my nose is even straight even though i tried to contour it right I'm going to put a little bit on my eye, um, my inner corner here, you know, just to make that the eye pop a bit more, even though it's already dramatic. Last step of the look is lips, so I'm using this MAC Lip Liner in Spice, and then I'm using, um, you can't see the name anymore, it's Primark Lipstick in Nude. Yeah. Huh? What is it? Oh, thank you. It's a parcel. I just got a parcel. It's from. <gasps> Guys, guess what I've just received? Talking about being cheap and having no money, having no jobs during this pandemic. Guess what I just uh, purchased? on my payday for my furlough money this Monday. More makeup and brushes. Look at that. Why have I got... I don't even remember ordering. <laughs> I'm going to use this Rimmel All oh My Gloss Gloss Lip Gloss on the top. Just to finish off the look. Okay, my lips, I can feel my lips burning. Oh my god, my hair is there. Oh my god, my hair is there. Oh my god, my I'm going to teach you how to do it. Okay. Head there. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you. So, this is the final look. Logic and Mula. But anyway, guess what? I've learnt a hair technique from the da, one of her um, YouTube tutorials that she posted two weeks ago. Finally, I'm doing something with my hair. You guys should go check out her hair and makeup tutorial and give her a subscribe and a follow on social media. I'll link it there and there. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I don't think I really suit this look. Mm. Anyway, Please um, let me know in the comment if you guys would uh, create this look yourself. And I also want to know if I suit this look or not so I can wear it out next time when I go out. I think that's all for me today, guys. Um, I'll link my social media below in the comments so you guys can go and check out in the comment, in the description, so you guys can go and check out um, my pictures on there. See you next time. Bye.